then along the line, and it should work this time. Yep. Can you go back and do that again? Huh? I'm just going to record this for fourth hour too. Except that it has a hole there, also because Oops. it's two. Okay. All right. So, what do you want me to record the sweep? Yeah. Start at the, the beginning of that one again. <laughs> All right. And then just walk it through. So, um, first sweep. When you have a line that's too like drastic a turn at the beginning or the end of it, it's not going to let you do it. So, um, you get your circle first for a sweep, then the path you go along it to it. And Sorry if I'm blocking you guys. This one, it'll throw a warning up because these turns are too drastic and it is almost physically impossible to make that shape. So I'm going to enter back into my second sketch. They let me. Oh, I'm already in it. All right, go back to the sketch, and then I'm going to move around these pieces so it's not as drastic a turn, and it flows a little bit better. And go back to 3D model, do my sweep, select my circle, and my path, and it should go this time. Maybe not. Okay. Nope. Okay. So it's still too drastic, so I need to change this a little more. So I'll make it a little straighter. Okay. That should work this time. There you go. And as you see, it makes this wonderful swoopy thingy. So that's the basics of how sweep works. Yep. <laughs> Anything else you want me to say? Uh, just make a 45. All right. So I'm going to show you the 45 I made here, and it's up to you if you want to make it like complicated like mine is, or really simple, like probably most people want. And the 45 that I have in the bag is different than this, but it's going to be similar yeah. principle. Yeah. So I have a ridge here that is cut into it, so like your pieces will snap together like any PVC pot, uh, coupler would do, but that is optional for you to do it. And I can give you the measurements on that if you want to do it. But the uh, first step for making a piece not so complicated is to open up a new file and then create your circle pipe, the circle for your pipe, which is... Any luck, Mr. King? Five. Okay. Point five, sorry. I'm going to type that. Five. <coughs> point six two five. So that is your average dimensions for the pipe. And I'm going to finish this sketch because I got that done. Then I'm going to create a new sketch on the perpendicular plane. And I'm going to draw a line that goes out um, 0.5. And then right here, you can see that there is not only how long your piece is on this uh, in the two boxes, but there's also a degrees. So if you push tab, you can skip to that other box. And then you want to either type in 45 or 135. And then you have a piece like that, and you go OK. And so now you have your beautiful turn. So I'm going to finish this sketch, go to sweep, click my circle. I want to sweep. And then click the line, and it's that easy. Now, can you get your fillet to come in at the? <laughs> What are you trying? Correct. Okay. Yeah, to round that, like the parts we buy. Yeah, how much? Do you know how much it is? Well, see, sometimes I can get some of the programs to get the point five in there. Like Other times, I've had to go to like point three. Okay, so it's supposed to be a point five fillet here. It should be. I'm gonna go fillet point five. I think that may be too much. I see. That's yeah, what that's I. Insane. It's too much. So go point three. No, go point three. Okay. I think they'll. Because, see, that looks more like the parts that we buy at the store. All right. And do you want me to do this side, too? Uh, see how it looks. See if it'll match. That's kind of like them. I mean, you can get rid of the interior one. It'll probably be closer. But that's the 45. Yep, that's simple 45. Um, normally, I actually messed up on this. There would be one-inch uh, one lines on this. Right. This thing, there'd be one-inch, not 5 But... Other than that. Alright, that's the basics. And if you want to know Ooh, how to look do at this that. one, my beautiful one, um, that's tell cool. me and I'll inform you on how to do it. Oh, also, 
So if you also want to be like more accurate when you're doing your assembly and stuff, uh, your pipes alone are just like uh, have an outer diameter of 0.625, but the coupler over it has to be bigger than that. So the inner diameter here has to be like a this one. Your inner diameter alone has to be uh, 0.625, and the outer diameter would be 0.75. As you see here, if you want it to fit over that pipe. You guys need to pull out the dial calipers, go to the parts, and then you got to also, the parts you buy, check their measurements. Yeah, and I got the dimensions from this off of another 3D model, and I converted it over. Well, made it over. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and stop this.